No one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin, or his background, or his religion. In my country, we go to prison first and then become president. The color of my skin is beautiful, like the soul Mother Africa. I have a special attachment to the people who befriended me during times of distress. I am not a saint unless you think a saint is a sinner who keeps trying. You will achieve more in this world through acts of mercy than you will through acts of retribution. A man is never more truthful than when he acknowledges himself a liar. Money won't create success, the freedom to make it will. Only free men can negotiate. Prisoners cannot enter into contracts. It is in your hands to make a better world for all who live in it. We must all strive to be inspired by a deep, seated love of our country without regard to race, color, gender, or station in life. There were many dark moments, and my faith in humanity was sorely tested, but I would not and could not give myself up to despair. We must strive to be moved by a generosity of spirit that will enable us to outgrow the hatred and conflicts of the past. They must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. The habit of attending to small things and of appreciating small courtesies is one of the important marks of a good person. Of course, we desire education, and we think it is a good thing, but you don't have to have education in order to know that you want certain fundamental rights. You have got aspirations. You have got claims. History will judge us by the difference we make in everyday lives of children. It is through education that the daughter of a peasant can become a doctor, that the son of a mine worker can become the head of the mine. I am the product of Africa and her long, cherished view of rebirth that can now be realized so that all of her children may play in the sun. There can be no keener revelation of a society's soul and the way in which it treats its children. The children who sleep in the streets, reduced to begging to make a living, are testimony to an unfinished job. I waited for over 70 years to cast my first vote. I chose to do it near the grave of John Doob, the first president of the ANC. As I am former prisoner number 46,664, there is a special place in my heart for all those that are denied access to their basic human rights. It is an achievement for a man to do his duty on earth irrespective of the consequences. It was during those long, 
and lonely years that my hunger for the freedom of my people became a hunger for the freedom of all people.